What do you think the Golok Flop will do next? What if it's hungry for food? Food? Do you think it might... Do you think it likes food that, that tastes like... like... us? <gasps> I've never read anywhere that Galumphalops eat something like us. <laughs> but I've also never read that they wouldn't eat something like us. <laughs>
There's only four violet plants left out here. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking the missing flowers and the ground shaking have something to do with each other. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Did you see that? Uh, how could... How, how did... Look! I'm coming to the conclusion that the flowers are not being picked up. Yeah, they're being pulled down! <gasps> Look! Wow! Uh, girls, I just wanted to say I'm sorry I got us into this, and uh, maybe we don't need to know what's taking the flowers and uh, ending the world after all. <laughs> don't you want to figure this out? Come on, we're all here with you. Yeah. What could happen when you have your friends with you? Uh, how about... a lot? Lemon, it's about time we shine some light on this mystery. Okay, Strawberry, if you say so. would be nice. How about we sing a campfire song? It might hear us. It? Maybe we should turn out the light so it doesn't see us. Hmm. Hey, what happened to that light? <clears throat> Don't worry, boy. We'll just follow this path. Want to roast marshmallows? Okay, sure. Anything to take my mind off. Whatever might be out there. In the dark. Help me find some sticks for the marshmallows. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Here's a good one. <laughs> what did you say? Strawberry, I'm certain I just saw a creepy creature pass by a minute ago. Are you certain? Uh, sort of certain. A creepy creature. Well, what did it look like? Well, I didn't really see it, I guess. Could it have been something else? Like maybe still a creature, but not a creepy one? For example, could it have been a bunny rabbit? Oh. Everything was going simply swell, until all of a sudden... It wasn't. We were stuck in the mud! Ugh. We weren't stuck, we were sinking! And this wasn't mud, it was a bottomless pit of very, very quicksand! There was only one thing to do. The 
danger was over, but only for the moment. It would not be over over until I got the truck out of there. <laughs> but even with my magnificently muscle tone strength, it wouldn't budge. a serious problem, and then I had it! I would go for help! <gasps> Uh-oh, I have to go for help fast! If the vine broke, the truck would sink, and the Berrykins would go to bed without any dinner! Oh yeah, and I'd never see my sister again. It was real dark in the berry patch. But Kaylee and Kyle were on the case. They were going to get to the bottom of this monster mystery. When out of the bushes came a horrible sound. <gasps> Just like the legend warned. First, you hear the noise. Then you feel the heat of the rancid breath of seven noses. Then... The slobbering of seven tongues. No! Its teeth were long and glistened in the moonlight. Beady eyes and 14 flaring nostrils. There is no escape from this monster in the berry patch. M monster in the berry patch? Why did we ever decide to visit Berry Bitty City? I thought you said it was peaceful here. Welcome to Berry Bitty City and the Marketplace Cafe. Would you like a table? No thanks. Lost our appetite. Huh? Can't get out of here fast enough. Do you know they have a monster in Berry Bitty City? It has seven noses and seven teeth and long tongues that glisten in the moonlight. I heard that the whole town is packing up and evacuating. My word, it's worse than we thought. Better steer clear of Berry Bitty City. <laughs> <laughs> 